What is up guys? So my grandmother just broke her foot and we have to get her to her doctor's appointment. She can't really walk and she's in a wheelchair. Her doctor's appointment is in about 30 minutes and we need to get her out of the house really quick. So let's see if we can build her a wheelchair ramp in under 30 minutes. I am Samuel, welcome to Louisiana. Let's get into the video. Alright, so this is our supplies. We have six 10 foot 2x4s and we have two 4x8 sheets of plywood. We're about to rip uh, some of the plywood and have our ramp started. Right now it's 1147 and we're unloading everything and we should have this done in under 30 minutes hopefully and we'll be able to get grandma out of the house. So here goes our first sheet of plywood. And now I have our first sheet of plywood on the saw horses. We're just going to rip the end off of it so it's the proper length. And all of this just started out as an idea. We have no plans. We have not thought about it that much. We're just going with what we think we should do, and it should work out. So these sheets of plywood are four feet wide, and we need them to be three feet to fit in between the steps. So we're just going to rip off an end at three feet, and we have them both on top of each other so it'll go twice as fast. So this is our eight foot straight edge and we're just marking it at three feet and this is a line that we're going to cut down. All right, we have now successfully whacked off one foot from the four feet of plywood so we're left with three feet. You know, that's very basic math and we're ready to stick this in between the stairs with the two by fours as support so it doesn't flex out too much in the middle. We started at 11.47, it is now 11.54, so we're seven minutes into this project. So looking at it from this angle, we're gonna go from the steps down to this little step right here. And this is the first piece of plywood we just put here to kind of look at it. And if you notice, it's right under this lip and we want it to be butted up right up under here. So we're gonna put a one piece of a two by four just underneath it to kind of block it up. And that should be what we need. We're gonna strip it at three feet and that's gonna be our next board to cut. So these steps are four feet wide and with just a three foot ramp, you also have just enough room to walk down here normally. And then you also have this board uh, for the wheelchair ramp. Hold that on. All right, so with this board in place, we need to get the two by fours in. They're gonna support the most of the weight. And we're gonna do one six foot strip and the other two foot strip going down. And we're about to go cut those now. All right, we're about to screw on the first six foot strip of two by four to sturdy up the plywood. All right, and there's the first little strip of it. All right, so this is our little scab and we're about to screw it on. All right, there's one side of it. And there's the other side of it. All right, so our current thought processes are we have this part pretty much done. We need the second piece of plywood that's gonna go out there and we're gonna put a little uh, scab of wood underneath the bottom of it so it doesn't bend out and break at that joint. We're gonna have the last two little 10 foot pieces of two by four connecting them to keep them strong and this wheelchair ramp will be complete. Technical difficulties, we don't have enough room for the piece of plywood so we have to move the car. All right, we have them butted up and we're ready to screw them both into that little scab here. And it's time to screw on the 10 foot section of two by four to strengthen it up. Screwing it in and this is about to be the end of our build done. And in 31 minutes and 33 seconds, we completely built this wheelchair ramp. We're going to be able to fix that. But this is actually really sturdy in a nice wheelchair ramp to get grandma out of the house. So we did just add these little vertical supports and it completely fixed the entire problem of a little bit of sag in the middle. And this is a very strong wheelchair ramp and it took 30 minutes to make. And I don't want to okay. go fast. Let's go back. Let's go backwards. How about it? No, see, see, stop. Okay. Well, I'm going to go slow. Okay. So let me hold on. Too long, it needs to stop right there. Let's see if we can push up. 
as you can see, our wheelchair ramp was a success and it did only take 31 minutes to build. It is three feet wide. You still have room left to walk down and it is very sturdy with these two by fours that we put on the edges with the scab in the middle. Nothing went wrong. So this is the perfect 30 minute wheelchair ramp. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. No grandmothers were harmed in the making of it. She got to where she liked the ramp going down and up. It's a whole lot easier than carrying her down the stairs. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, comment down below, share it with your grandmother, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.